Are you thinking of a bakery that you'd want to start aside from home baking? This is the topic today. We're going to talk about the selecting of the kind of bakery that you'd like to open. Welcome back to my channel, Baking for Business. This is Jojo Lydia, director and cake artist, Little Hands Bake House, located in Akorungasa, we are in Kenya. This is the channel where we talk about cake business, entrepreneurship, we share story time, we have tips and hacks, and we answer to the many questions that we receive them in our DM. If this is for you, please subscribe to the channel for more of our videos and comment below. Please feel free to ask any of our cake related questions, and I'm going to answer them for you to the best of my knowledge. So when you're starting the baking, this is a home baker. And in future, in your head, there's something that you have in mind. There's something that you created in your mind when it comes to this type of a bakery that you want to have. So here we are going to talk about how to select and what are the factors that will make you select this one over the other and what are the advantages of this over the other. So for you to make a decision, on the kind of the shop that you need to make, you have to put three things into consideration. Your budget, your talent, and your goals. The ultimate of this thing is the budget first when you're starting. All the starters as it is, we never start big. We start small and we grow. So in regards to the talent, the budget, and the goals, we're going to talk about the kind of the bakeries that are in existence. Now, we have the selection of the bakery number one, the online bakery. This is where everybody and most of us start from. And just as the name, this is the online. So what you do here is just you bake your cakes, you click the images, and again, you just push them online. And pushing them online is through creating your Facebook page, you have your IG page, and you start creating your portfolio slowly by slowly. And when, this, when you're starting such kind of a bakery, the online, the cost is always never so huge because you only need to open a Facebook page where you have your business name on it. You do your baking, click your pictures and push them to the page and you start creating your portfolio bit by bit. The advantages of this is just that first, uh, when it comes to starting, the income is very low. And you can as well do it at the comfort of your home. That is the second advantage of it. So no hindrances, just bake your cake, click the image, send it to your page. And when it comes to there, share your pages to your friends. Let them know what is it that you're doing. For, because if you're baking and nobody's buying, that's not a business again. So work on your side when it comes to the baking. Do the marketing and spread it to your friends. Let the business run. The second kind of bakery that you might consider, this is the counter service. This is another type of the bakery. This is the counter service. We just have the shop with an attendant. The cakes are there. They are not even baked from the same place. They're baked from somewhere else. They are brought there and anyone can buy. The good thing about the counter service is just that they attract working clients. Someone will just walk. I've seen a bakery, I need a slice, I just cut and go. So when it comes to you thinking of having a counter service, you'll be looking at having mass because you don't know your clients, you, 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 you have prospective clients when it comes to working. So you must have variety also because that's the only space that they can try different kinds of flavor even when it comes to slices and that's it. So the advantage here, you'll be having many clients because fast as it is, the location has to be like in a CBD where so many people are, they just walk in, they just buy and go. So you might consider that when you're talking about the, uh, the counter service. So when you're having this, uh, the budget will still, will be a little bit higher as compared to the online because now you'll be forced to hire the shop. You'll be forced to hire an attendant and in, in this case, it means maybe somebody else is somewhere baking for the attendant to have whatever is selling for the client. Okay, 
Another select, uh, kind of the bakery that you might think of having is the sit-down bakery. For those people who have this kind of uh, the sit-down bakery, these are the people who are so focused in the cake inside. We have bakers who they uh, make the cake, they click the image, it just excites them to see their cake being eaten by their counterparts, this, the way they've created the cake inside, that is the excitement. So if that is the talent that you want to show, it will come out very well in a sit-down bakery because you sell the cakes there, you have a space for them to sit and eat your cake there. So you'll be able to showcase your inside of your cake when they buy and they just they eat there. So something else again, when it comes to the cost when you're starting the business, it's not very cheap because it's a little bit higher when it comes to, uh, when you compare with the counter service because the counter is just like a small space you have the counter and the attendant but this one you have the counter itself and you have another side just next to it where people can come sit and eat it means the space is again big and again you have to have like more stuff so uh what if that is your ultimate goal and the talent is pushing you towards that so you have to talk about the budget and it's something that you can do as you progress. You don't have to do it when you're starting. So just juggle up your head and see whatever it is that you're looking for and what is it that you want to achieve and the ultimate goal about it. Then you'll be able to select the kind of the bakery that you have. Something else, we have a speciality service when it comes to bakery. These are the bakeries when you go, they're just known for cookies. This is their speciality. They don't do any other thing. So this, their speciality is the cookies. Another one, just to give an example also, the speciality is maybe just the muffins. This is what they do. Or another speciality is just the breads, all the kind of the breads. So just depends with what is it that you're looking for, what is it that you like. Maybe because the school that you're taught when it came to pastry, this is where you can think about specializing on one. So we have all this. They all work when it comes to baking. The scope of the baking is very big and you have array of uh, choices to select when it comes to kind of bakery that you have. As home bakers where we all fall, our most appropriate one is the online because we market our cakes online. So for you to take advantage of that space, make sure you explore fully. Just do your baking from your home, from the kitchens, or from the small space that you were rented outside, but work so much when it comes to online. You can't be a home baker where people don't even know where your home is. And again, you're not working towards your online market altogether, simply because that's where people are. That's where people are looking for it. If you don't have a store, if your cake is not a shop, how will you market other than your house? So it means you're supposed to have the online presence altogether. So work on the platforms that can help you propel your job. Work on your Facebook page, work on your IG page. If you want to go extra to the Twitter and the LinkedIn, good for you. But as it is, the presence of online will help us when it comes to the home baking. Part of it also, the referral helps us. But when you're starting, who is there to refer your cake other than friends and family? So through this online, you can create clients from what they see. And through what they see, they order. And you try, uh, you come about um, creating your community when it comes to the client. Because what they saw, they ordered, they liked, they keep coming. So the word of referral now start kicking off, but it started from the online. I hope you learned something about the type of the bakery that you can select when you're starting. If you learned something here, please let us know. Let us know your take when we're talking about the selection of the bakery and we'd be glad to share more of this story. Please subscribe to the channel for more of our videos. Let us know what is it that you want us to talk about. Let us know what is it that you want us to enlighten you. And you're free to ask any of the cake-related questions. And I'll be glad to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Bye for now.